Japan's first attempt at a private moon landing ended in disaster as the company's M1 lander went kaboom approaching the lunar surface. But it's not the only thing that crashed because its stock price has plummeted as a result. You're watching Liminology. Now let's dive into it. Two, one, discussing the large scale structure of the cosmos. Astronomers sometimes say that. A private endeavor being attempted by the corporation iSpace Incorporated. The company has reported a failed attempt after unexpectedly losing contact with its Hakuto R Mission 1 lander, which likely crashed on the lunar surface. And our simulation might have lost its connection with the MCC. No reason to, for concern yet. We are still seeing the animation going. Three kilometers per hour. And now we are at the moment of planned landing time. Again, everyone, please give us a few moments to confirm. At this moment, we have not able to confirm successful landing on the lunar surface. So we have to assume that uh, we could not complete the landing on the lunar surface. The startup believes that the lander's altitude measurement system miscalculated the distance to the surface as it approached the moon, causing it to enter freefall as it ran out of fuel for its thrusters. This comes on the heel of SpaceX's Starship rocket explosion and marks the second commercial space development setback in just one week. The M1 lander, which launched from Cape Canaveral, Florida on a SpaceX rocket four months ago, completed eight of its 10 mission objectives in space, however, providing valuable data for the next landing attempt in 2024. The lander was supposed to touch down at the edge of what's called Mare Frigoris in the moon's northern hemisphere. I might not be pronouncing that right, but if it had landed, it would have deployed a two-wheeled baseball-sized rover developed by the Japanese Aerospace Exploration Agency. The mission had also included plans to deploy a four-wheeled rover called Rashid from the United Arab Emirates. The lander was carrying an experimental solid-state battery made by Natera Corporation, among other devices, to test their performance on the moon. Testing these devices on the lunar surface would have provided valuable insights into how they would perform in the harsh environment of space, paving the way for further development and refinement of the technology. iSpace's second mission, scheduled for 2024, will carry its own rover, and from 2025, the company will collaborate with US space lab Draper to transport NASA payloads to the moon. The ultimate goal is to build a permanently staffed lunar colony by the year 2040. The development of such a colony could lead to advancements in scientific research, resource extraction, and space exploration, all of which would benefit both the public and private sectors. To date, no private firm has succeeded in landing on the moon, with only the US, the former Soviet Union, and China having soft-landed spacecraft there. India and a private Israeli company have also experienced failed attempts in recent years. iSpace Incorporated, which delivers payloads like rovers to the moon and sells related data, listed on the Tokyo Stock Exchange only two weeks ago. The excitement around its prospects drove its shares up over seven times since then, but the stock dropped 20% following their failed mission. Japan, which has set a goal of sending Japanese astronauts to the moon by the late 2020s, has faced other recent setbacks as well. In recent months, its new medium-lift H3 rocket was destroyed upon reaching space after a second-stage engine failure. Rocket had, could not uh, uh, complete its mission, so this truck's command was sent. And additionally, its solid-fuel Epsilon rocket failed after launch in just October 2022. But officials determined shortly after liftoff that they cannot ensure a safe flight and transmitted a self-destruction command signal to the spacecraft. Despite all of these setbacks though, Japan's top government spokesperson, Hirokazu Matsuno, has encouraged iSpace to, quote, keep trying hard, emphasizing the significance of its efforts for the development of a domestic space industry in Japan. Despite the setbacks, the future of commercial space exploration remains bright as countries and private companies continue to invest and develop new technologies to overcome the challenges faced in this new frontier. With enough perseverance and collaboration, the dreams of a permanent lunar colony and further expansion into space may become a reality in the not too distant future. If you enjoyed this video, you should check out our recent video about how scientists search for extraterrestrial life outside of our solar system. Thanks for watching.